feast day of St. Josephine Bakita, the patron saint of victims of modern slavery and human trafficking. Born in the late 19th century in Sudan, Josephine Bakita was kidnapped at the age of nine and sold into slavery several times until ending up in Italy and eventually giving her life to the Lord. In 2000, Pope John Paul II canonized her, saying that she came to understand the profound truth that God and not man is the true master of every human being, of every human life. Jean Marie Davis of Vermont knows all too well the plight of St. Josephine Bakita as she too was a victim of human trafficking for 27 years. And she chronicles her struggles and triumphs in a new book. Joining us now is Jean Marie Davis, executive director of Branches Pregnancy Resource Center in Vermont and author of Breaking Chains Against All Odds, a book which chronicles her life, including her 27 year struggle as a sex trafficking victim. Jean Marie, thank you so much for coming on today. So much to get to. Uh, but first, tell us about your book and why you thought it was so important to write it. Oh, because I wanted a book to show how a person actually got out of human trafficking. Uh, there's a lot of awareness of human trafficking, but a lot of people don't know the process of helping a woman get out. So I wanted uh, just to show the walk that I took on how I got out and how the pregnancy center saved my life and sharing Jesus and how he, in being introduced to, into my life, has put me into this position as the executive director. Talk to us about how vital pregnancy resource centers are when it comes to, you know, breaking this cycle of trafficking. Um, and maybe tell us a little bit about your story there. Uh, wow. So uh, for me, it was the fact that Phyllis Phelps took the time to listen to me. Uh, and the words that she said is, how can I help you? And for once in over a 10 year period of people not um, questioning me or saying that I'm lying or trying to manipulate me to believing that I was going out of my mind, she was able to sit down and listen and to understand and say, yes, I know what you're going through. Um, but then to turn around and say, I know a man named Jesus. And that right there in her eyes, her eyes, I'll never forget. I looked at her and I said, I want what you have. There's something about your eyes that I want what you have. And so that right there is, it was so personable to me because it was like, wow, a person who's never met me before really cares about me to where you would want to do life with me and want to um, walk through this journey in this life that you're presenting me. Algie Marie, before I let you go, uh, tell folks where they can get your book and what do you hope they learn from it? Uh, well, you could go to Amazon. Um, there's a, a, web, a link there uh, and it's breaking chains against all odds. And what I'm hoping is for people to not, not only see a woman who was um, in a lot of pain, but also the hope and the redemption uh, that Jesus Christ do set people free and that the hope is um, Jesus and that there is a way for people who has never been probably ever dealt with human trafficking before. This woman, Phyllis, she helped me. And anybody can do the same way, the same, you know, same things as she did. Um, I've had people just say, hey, you know, here's a, a bottle of water. That would help, you know, so that's what I'm hoping is that people will start to be geared to have more action and want to get more involved. Jean Marie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story. And thank you for all that you do. We appreciate it. God bless you. God bless you.